Imagine shooting through the middle of a 12-foot wave headfirst on your stomach. It's called hand planing. What used to be a rare surf sport is sweeping San Diego. Well, 10 News reporter Natasha Zuvez puts a hand plane to the test and finds out why environmentalists even like it. Ed Lewis isn't surfing, he's hand planing, a type of body surfing with flippers and what looks like a tiny surfboard strapped to your hand. It's a sport sweeping the country, and it's mostly thanks to Ed and his business partner, Kip Denslow. It all starts with a broken surfboard. From there it's shaped, painted, and finally glassed. It went from just being a one-time thing that we did into a full business which is kind of amazing because it's the most fun that either one of us have ever had doing work. <laughs> Ed and Kip make thousands of hand planes in this Encinitas garage. When surfers break their boards, they typically can't be mended. These two have found a way to use what would otherwise be trash. Three years later, they've quit their day jobs and the broken boards just keep coming. We'd run low on a broken board and then we'd go out the front door and there was a pile of broken boards that people had dropped off. Flippers on, wetsuit zipped, and GoPro mounted. Ed and Kip say one of the reasons hand planing is becoming so popular is it's easier than surfing. There's no falling involved, and even beginners can do it. We're putting it to the test. We bravely waded into the cold, cold water, and I tried <laughs> and tried and try to catch a wave. After 30 minutes and to my great disappointment, my natural ability never emerged. I lost a contact lens. I have salt water up my nose, but it was really, really fun. It was a lot of fun. And did I do an okay job? You did great. Maybe not, but it's not just hand planers that are excited. Experts in marine debris say this business is making a big difference. They do have toxins and chemicals that leach out. Mallory Watson says not enough research has been done on broken boards specifically, but surfboard materials like plastics, paint, and foam are known to harm marine life. Whether it's being in the water or being hit by sunlight, they photodegrade. For Ed Lewis, being eco-friendly is all icing on the cake. It's a lot of work. Right? But Kip and I say, I mean, we're, we're basically, we're toy makers. It's everything that I love. Natasha Zuvest, 10 News. Did you see how brave Natasha was? She did a good job. Good for her. Okay, so here is one. This is a special one they made for 10 News. These are made, as you just saw, out of old boards. The handles are actually old wetsuits. And even the epoxy that they use for this thing, it's environmentally friendly. It's non-toxic pine. This is a special one for us. And Ed and Kip are even expanding. Their hand planes have been picked up by Patagonia. And even, as we've said, President Barack Obama has one.